I was gonna film this when it was all nice and sunny outside, but I missed that window. That window has shut. So I'll be starting my weight loss journey pretty soon here. I thought I was ready to do this, but I'm not ready. It's like I'm putting a gun to my head to make myself do this because I really, really not feeling this. This will be my fifth weight loss journey. The last one I did was uh, after I had my son. That was my fourth weight loss journey. I'm gonna insert some pictures in here and give backstory because it's necessary for you to understand where I'm coming from. So this is my before and after picture. Um, there's my busted before picture of me. That was a really bad before picture. But anyway, you see, I clearly needed to get on my shit. So I did, and the that was the result. Like, I looked pretty good. My fitness level was all right, you know, it's okay. Like, I can't climb a pole and do tricks on a pole or anything like that, but I looked okay. So over the years, I've tried all kinds of diets and different techniques. I, I've tried all kinds of shit. My most successful weight loss journey was the one I did in middle school and I lost 27 pounds in four weeks. I was literally losing five pounds a week. Five pounds in one week. Like, that's a holy shit moment right there. I lost weight so fast that my dad didn't recognize me when I saw him again. The next time I saw him, he didn't know who I was when I was approaching him. He didn't know who I was. I have my notes here, so if I look down, I'm reading my notes, so. So the best diet that's ever worked for me was the abs diet. And I'm gonna put a picture of the book right there. That was the best diet ever. It basically made me control my insulin and my sugar. And the weight just like, it just melted off of me. And I followed that diet for about two and a half, three years. And I got below 130 pounds on that diet, I believe. And with that diet, it didn't seem to matter how much exercise I was doing. The weight just melted off. And I know it's because of the way I controlled my, my sugar and my insulin. Basically my insulin was like even Steven, like it wasn't spiking and dropping and no crazy stuff. It was like, it was perfect. I used to work outside a lot a lot in the sun in the heat because i was outside so much working out i was like a shade or two darker than i am now and that's how i got a lot of sun damage on my cheeks and my forehead and stuff i love fitness so much that i went and got my personal training certificate so i could start this um outdoor boot camp which i really didn't need this certificate after all but people just like to see that shit for some reason honestly it's just a piece of paper because like you either know you shit or you don't. So I had my little outdoor boot camp fitness thing and I loved it. And then after we moved to Sacramento, I had every intention of continuing with that. It just didn't work out that way. Like nothing worked out for me after we moved here. Like it was pretty much downhill after we moved here. How did I get fat? Right, so two months after we moved here, I stopped going to the gym. It wasn't cold turkey, like I would try to go and I just couldn't jump start myself anymore. I just had no desire, I had no motivation, like all the passion that I ever had for anything that I've ever loved before in my life disappeared, it just, it went away. Then I started like eating weird, like my appetite would go up and down, up and down. I've never lost my appetite before. This got so bad to where I would lose my appetite and I would have to force myself to eat. Like, especially when I was pregnant, I would have to force myself to eat and I would eat those like carnation instant breakfast, like the powder and you mix it with milk because it has uh, vitamins and minerals in it. Like it's better than nothing. And then when I would eat, uh, I would eat like real shitty stuff like a donut, like anything where I didn't have to cook anything. So I might just eat like a slice of bread with some peanut butter on it, or um, I'll just drink a soda. I would just drink a soda rather than eat something. It was real bad and it's still pretty bad. Basically, it was like a really bad depression, like really, really bad. Uh, it affected my energy like I had um, I'm usually like really high spirited and I have like um, a lot of energy and um, it sapped my energy I had no desire to do anything like <laughs> it, was, it was bad I am really gonna try to kickstart myself 
I still have no desire to exercise. Sometimes when I'll hear a song, I like, I'll want to work out to it, but that is, it goes away. That goes away, it doesn't last long, so I think I'm a size 18 now. It's either buy bigger clothes, which I really don't want to, or start working out. I don't want to get up to 300, 400 pounds and then have all this extra loose flabby skin you know that would suck i'm just gonna have to really push myself just really like trick my mind into doing it i've never had this problem before i've always used exercise as a way to control my anxiety and depression like i i've dealt with anxiety and depression off and on through different um ups and downs in my life and i've always used exercise to combat that and exercise it always works you know I just go for a run or, you know just go work out lift weights whatever and the fact that I have no desire to do that that's when I knew it was really bad I'm not the same person that I was three years ago but that's a good thing because I'm 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 stronger now and I have uh I have other characteristics now and not only that like I used to eat healthy always taking supplements like doing you know cleanses and detoxing and I cared a lot about my intestinal system I cared a lot about my endocrine system my nervous system like I was really into like holistic stuff and like all that shit out the door like I stopped taking supplements I stopped giving a shit about my liver something else you should know is I have this huge hernia that starts from the very top of my abdomen all the way down to the bottom of my abdomen and that is it's called a diastasis recti from having three babies so basically so my abdominal muscles are separated there's this huge gaping hole between my abdominal muscles about five inches across so it starts out like this and it goes wider and wider and wider and then it goes down and it's pretty bad. I'm gonna show you some pictures of it. So basically my guts are like sticking out. My guts are hanging out because my abdominal muscles, they're like separated. They're not, they're not like this anymore. They're like this. And so I have this pooch. So now I look about six months pregnant, especially after I eat, I look really pregnant. I really need a tummy tuck and i'm gonna work on that i'm gonna try doing some special exercises to try and close that and hopefully maybe i won't need a tummy tuck but uh we'll see if i didn't have that hernia like if my abdominal muscles had closed back together my stomach would be pretty much flat for the most part like i'd have a little chub there but it wouldn't it wouldn't be sticking out like like I'm pregnant. So my plan of action for food starting out, I'm not gonna change my diet at all. I'm gonna continue to eat and drink everything that I do now. Like I just had four Jack in the Box tacos and Oreo milkshake. So just to start and just to create that baseline of what my body can do, I'm not gonna change my diet. I'm just gonna start exercising. And exercising in itself is hard on your body. Like it's hard on your endocrine system, your nervous system. Um, it's really hard on your body. So I'm gonna ease myself into this. For one, mentally, I'm not there. Like my mind is not connected with my body and my muscles. So I'm really gonna ease myself into this like as gentle as possible. As far as exercising, I'm just gonna start with uh, body weight exercises, jump rope, like jumping jacks, some body weight squats and some modified push-ups. What my goal is not necessarily a number anymore. My goal is more like a look because I don't look how much I weigh anyway. And I'm gonna show a picture here. This is me at 190 pounds. This, this is me when my weight was trending up. I stopped working out and I was just eating whatever and my weight was going up. So this is me at 190 pounds to me. In this picture, I do not look 190 pounds. I never have looked my weight. I believe last time I weighed myself, I was 212. So you take that photo and you know, you can imagine what I might look like now. But if I were to give you a number, it would be like around 140, 150 between there. 140, 150 is a good look for me. At some point, I'm gonna start eating healthier, eating my smoothies. Little by little, I'm going to 
tackle my diet and eat healthier, you know, adding more protein, um, removing sugar and all that like technical shit, I'll, I'll start doing that when I feel like it. I'm gonna listen to my body for the most part. The healthy foods that I absolutely hate and cannot stand, I cannot stand spinach. I hate spinach, whether it's raw or cooked, I hate it. I don't like how it feels on my teeth when I chew it. I hate brown rice. I will not eat brown rice. Absolutely not. Like, unless it has like some gravy and like um, like a lot of salt, cantaloupe and cauliflower. I hate cantaloupe, but I used to eat a lot of it for breakfast because it has a really low glycemic index. Like, uh, it's not gonna spike my insulin. Cauliflower, I, I don't like the smell of it. I don't like how it looks. Also will be, implementing my appetite suppressing drinks. I have a couple of drinks that I use to suppress my appetite, but I have to be careful with them because there are some days where I actually needed to eat, where I actually needed the calories. I did write a healthy fitness book. I published it through Amazon and I'll basically be following that book because I have, I wrote all my tips and tricks on, on what I do to like eat healthy and stay healthy and you know, just stay on top of things. I'll basically just be following all the tips in that book. Also, to kickstart my journey, I bought some coffee from Amazon. It's Amazon brand coffee. I didn't know they made coffee, but I got three different flavors. I haven't tried this coffee yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll like it because like, I'm not real picky about my coffee. Coffee is another good appetite suppressant. One thing I really need to stop is Pepsi. I need to break up with Pepsi. Me and Pepsi are in a relationship and I'm very much deeply in love with pepsi i've tried to stop drinking it and i'll like i have urges for it uh, and nothing else quenches it like like how it feels in my mouth the fizziness like i just need to sit just a sip two sips just like you know just a couple of sips and and i'm all better like everything is better and so i have a problem <laughs> I know I have a problem with Pepsi, man. It's just like, you know what? It's my husband's fault. All this shit is my husband's fault. I'm blaming all this on him. This is all his fault. He was, he started all this shit. I am gonna try that LaCroix, 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 LaCroix. That LaCroix drink that's like sparkling water. I got the lemon flavor and we'll see if that works out. I haven't put it in the fridge yet, so that should tell you something. I haven't touched it, I haven't looked at it since I bought it. Like, I have no desire to drink that shit. I know it's gonna be nasty, <sighs> but we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do it anyway. You guys, I love working out so much that I get excited when I'm planning my workouts. I would get excited and nervous and jittery before my workout. Working out was such a thrill for me. I truly enjoyed it to the point where I enjoy working out alone. When someone is there, it's like, it's distracting. I would work out when it was really cold outside, if it was raining, if there was flies everywhere, um, it was really, really hot outside. Even if I didn't have the equipment that I needed, I would just like improvise and, and just be creative and come up with something, do something different or, you know, modify it. And, oh, and I would work out anywhere. I would work out at the park. I would work out on the sidewalk. I would work out in a parking lot. I would work out on a patio I, in my bedroom. I would make up my own workouts and that's basically what I'm gonna do now. I haven't weighed myself yet, but I think I've put on about 70 pounds. I think fitness would be a really good addition to my channel. So I was thinking maybe post workouts, like me working out or like workout vlogs. I was thinking about doing like fitness Fridays, like something fitness or health related on Fridays. I don't know. Anyway.